Hello everyone. Um, I want to give you a demo of the uh, King James Bible AI that I created on um, at OpenAI using ChatGPT. Um, and you'll need a free account if you want to use this um, for yourself. Uh, I will leave a link to both how you, uh, to the landing page to sign up for your free account as well as a link to this um, the, the, the this, this AI model that I've created so that you can play with it yourself as, uh, and ask it all the questions that you may desire to do to do so. Um, so I'm going to get into it. Uh, I was going to um, do a do a, um, a write up about this, but I think it just is much easier for me just to show people rather than um, uh, than to describe it. So. Um, I'm going to get into it. And I'm going to try to make this as brief as possible, just to wet your whistle and and show you some of the possibilities that you, that you can do it. All right. So when we're in here, we click on um, the the prompt down here um, after you've logged into it and you've you've used your link to get to it. We'll click on the prompt, and now you can begin to ask it questions. Now here's some questions that um, that that um, that are just general prompts here that uh, you know you can start off with, or you can write your own. Uh, in this case, I'm going to write my own um, prompts, uh, and so uh, one of the things that we've uh, that have been described uh, in, in the Bible and the Old Testament is um, Ezekiel's wheel, right, or his wheels, the wheels upon uh, inside of wheels and things like that. It's sometimes that um, it's known as uh, Ezekiel's spaceship because uh, it can be seen as that. Um, but I'm going to ask it a very vague question. I'm going to ask it to to, to Take this vague question and then give me a very, uh, give me a, a nice specific answer. And this vague question is, um, what is Ezekiel? Uh, spaceship. So nice, vague, nice and vague question, right? Because it's not referred to as a spaceship in the in the text of the King James Bible, but yet there is something that is describing it. So, uh, and, and we're going to see what it does when I do this. So. There it is. It's generated in a matter of um, you know under ten seconds or so. Um, a, a it's taken my vague question, "What is Ezekiel's spaceship?" and says, "Hey, it's sometimes referred to as spaceship." But what you uh, this is where the passage is Ezekiel one uh, one through twenty eight, where the prophet Ezekiel describes an extraordinary vision, um, and and it goes into further detail, breaking it down of what the Ezekiel um, has shown. So. That's pretty cool in and of itself. Now, what I want to do is then um, I'm going to say that's 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 pretty cool. That's a great description, and descriptions leave a lot to the to, to be desired or a lot to the uh, imagination. But I want to see something. I want to see something uh, the, tangible that, that that describes that. So I'm going to say generate an image from this text. So generate um, an image representing uh, the description you gave above. And now it's going to generate, uh, create an image for us of based on the, what, we, what we have here. And uh, you know a picture that you can use to put in a blog post, or just to get in a better understanding of, hey, this is what it's describing. So it takes a couple, you know, a couple seconds, but there it is. <laughs> a pretty interesting interpretation of that vision. Um, and, and this isn't the first time I've done this, but this is like the fourth fourth version of this <laughs> that that, uh, that that is created. And each time it's it's similar to this. But it's different um, uh, that it's generated this this particular image, um, so that's pretty cool. All right, so th that alone is is you can see the the utility in something like this. But it gets a little bit better. So 
again, I've asked them a vague question about um, about Ezekiel, and it's given me a, a pretty good answer, a, um, a pretty specific answer on that vague question. Now I'm going to ask you another question about something in the Bible that we all know that's in the Bible, but it doesn't directly reference it in the Bible. The Beatitudes. So there's no word, you know, the Beatitudes, the, the word describing um, the, the uh, Matthew five and, and what's giving that uh, what's given to us didn't come into existence until you know many centuries later. Uh, they called it the Beatitudes. So we're going to give it this. You know, we're going to ask it to describe the Be the Beatitudes, which is not found in the text itself at all, um, uh, and and see what it does. What are the Beatitudes? I think that's right. Yeah. Just just a simple question. What are the Beatitudes? Look at this. It, it, it knows because it knows the context of what we're talking about. It, it, it knows the text that we're talking about as well as all the context that, that, that it can pull in. Um, and it just gives me a really nice uh, uh, list of what the Beatitudes are. Um, so uh, th that's extremely useful, right? Um, but it gets even better, in my opinion, of, 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 of the useful, of the utility of using AI to, um, to dig into the data of the Bible. So, you know, I don't think you should use this for interpretation, but it's, it's a tool, I guess, but um, interpretation should be left to uh, prayer and, um, you know, and, and meditation. Uh, but digging data out of the out of the out of the Bible this is just a, a fantastic uh, tool but uh, let's say I want to know something uh, so, something where I'm going to get a lot of data from it now I, so um, in this particular case it would take you um, a very long time to compile this data um, so the next question I have for it is um, I'm going to I'm going to ask it to to provide me with a list of all the old um, the Old Testament kings, right? And that, that, that if you think about the 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 task at hand, what you'd have to do to go down and write out by hand, or type up, or or extract from it to get just get a very simple list of the Old Testament kings, because I don't know you want to give a Bible study on it or something like that. It would take you a, a considerable amount of time to do that. So now I'm going to just simply say, um, provide a list of the kings mentioned in the Old Testament. simple provide a list of it uh, and look and, and I don't even have to capitalize anything because it also knows the English language and knows context of, about the question that you're asking and it, just in seconds you get this this beautifully laid out li a list by by kingdom uh, of Old Testament um, of Old Testament kings it, it just oh, blows my mind that in seconds you can get this kind of data from it <laughs> you know so what if I want to further refine that well it's just a matter of asking it to further refine it so this I'm going to say um, take the the list above and Put it into a table. There you go. Now it's creating a table of the kings for us that we can then take and put into a blog post or put into an Excel spreadsheet or a PowerPoint or whatever you want to do already formatted for you. I mean, that's just, uh, just a huge... <laughs> Huge thing, and and you can further refine data uh, like this. Um, so this and this is just the tip of the iceberg of, of the things that you can ask it, um, and you can ask uh, ask it to um, 
you know, to, to do uh, what is the inference on, on a particular phrase, um, or, you know. Um, I haven't even tried getting into um, what uh, the Greek and the Hebrew language is, and, and uh, let's, let's see if we can do that. Um, uh, we'll save that for another one, because I, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. I just want to make this a concise video um, to just wet your whistle and to get you... Um, up to speed on on what this is capable of doing with just this little bit of stuff. So, thank you for watching. Enjoy and um, and the more you play with this, uh, the more all of us play with it. The actually the better it learns, um, which is another great thing. So if you're using it often, fantastic. God bless you because uh, we all benefit from from using it and asking it questions um, uh, because it just gets better and better. Um, and you can also like you know if you if you think it's giving a bad answer, you you you, you can just give it a bad response, a downvote it. Or if you think it's a good answer and you really you know wow that's an amazing answer, you know, you, you can just you know like like this is just an amazing answer. I'm gonna go ahead and say boom, um, no feedback. <laughs> but so I think through if everybody uses something like this or, or uses this the the better re, the, the results we can get um, and the better we can build it um, and maybe even possibly build a nice little community or, or around it um, enjoy God bless and um, get back to me and you know let me know if you like it after you play with a couple of days um, take care bye bye